Enjoy. Got you finally keen! As you can see, everyone in Big City is cursed by some weird spell. I got turned into a poor, simply trashed female that is deformed to this 100% scrumpy, sticksy, and fabulous and cry engineer is a vagineer, but you are not cursed, and Mr. Dan is going to tell you why. Bring the TV! Hey! <laughs> So here we are. This is not a pre-recorded message. I really got turned into a TV. So I can't use any magic spell to lift the curse in this city. And you won't only be able to find out once you reach the one who's behind this all. Dr. Doom will help you to take you to a portal and may lead you to many dimensions. We'll lead you to many other portals. Until you reach the right dimension when the creature behind this chaos lives. You got to be quick. This curse might turn this city into ruins. Good luck. Don't die. So, Mr. Dan, had to choose someone and only one person to save us all, and for some reason, you were chosen to not be cursed so you could use your pyro skills to defeat the one behind this all. And while we are cursed and barely able to fight together, we got to shelter ourselves in the house. You should go now, as soon as you leave you will be brought to the place where Dr. Doom parked his ambulance. We believe in you! Ah. Hey, Mama! So, Doom, are you sure everything is according to plan? Nice. So fix. Just go with him, he will take you to where the first portal is located, I don't know where, but the insane scientist that is cursed with sanity somehow knows where it is. Father is going through all the chaotic danger for a giant bottle of soda. We got to get it before he gets killed. That's a I
turn myself into a small radio. So if you take me on for this journey, I may give you some tips. By the way, I know who is behind this all. People call this uh, the right for a good reason. I'm not supposed to this into details. I feel like we're already both being watched. This giant robo sandwich. So I have not how much this happen? Oh, no! Help me! Mine! Hello, Nerf Us! Nerf Woody Lamp! Ah! Nerf Woody Lamp! Nerf Woody Lamp! Nerf Woody Lamp! Close from somewhere, and I think I heard something approaching. Be careful. For about 30 minutes, can you tell me why you are keeping me like some kind of useless cosmetic to wear on your head? What the fuck? Seriously, cry engineer? <laughs> okay! Genius. But now we need to reunite the whole team. What are those sounds? Jesus is creeping me out.
energies in this place. Where did you get? Anyways, just take care and move on to the next portal. dimensional portals. Don't ask why. The signal fuels are so weird. What the fuck is going on? Fire resistant suit? You should have brought an ice resistant suit. Ha! <laughs>
now that we are all finally sheltered and reunited, we all just need to stay and wait for Fixie. Anyone want to roll me around? I'm bored. Yes, and who are you? Size and invader of my lair! The guy who a boy, and some sort of seeds to be a fat boy who big the wrong house. Since years, I have been planning about turning Big City into a chaotic plaza. And I know you were asking, why would you do this, lady? And so I tell, this is nothing but a place where Dad broke my heart into shards. Yes, Mr. Dad, a non-supernatural being somewhere in Big City. Queen brother of this mental defective Dr. Dumb Don't Ed. speak about my memory like that, Miss Richie. Sorry about what's happened in that day, but honestly, you've been very stubborn bitch with me. Vegan always using harsh words. I need to break up with a woman that gossip makes them before you killed by herself. I did say you to burn my home down. No other choice but to lock you in there and save me and skin me and spells. You got what you deserved. <sighs> Shut up! I'm tired of this shit! And I can't believe you even brought your new whore you're dating with to try to stop me! So you know fire is my weakness. It would be a shame if Transmutara. I have been watching you for some time now. She's not wrong, Pedro. We are trying to be watching your sissy way in your bed. We will just have to do it now. I see. You want to defend yourself with that thing you call a weapon. So you shall know what a real weapon looks like. You think you're clever, don't you? You 
will never hit me. are not cursed anymore. Guys? Uh... Don't you look even more beautiful? Am I dreaming or what? So, everything is back to normal, the city is no more chaotic, the white is defeated thanks to Fixia, with help of Mr. Dan and Dr. Doom, no more problems to deal with. For now, the white, also known as Ms. Richie, got dead, for the second time, while both times, were well deserved for the most immature way of reacting to an end of a relationship, with help of her hat, called the Mausoleum Relic, according to Mr. Dan. Speaking about Mr. Dan, he finally brought his brother to meet his assistant Dr. Sagan who replaced Dr. Doom due to his lack of sanity to help him in Never Lose Hope Hospital. Everything went well at the first meetup. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. See ya and I hope you have a good day, beautiful folks.